Dr. Vincent? Jeremy. Sorry about that. And you can tell us who these people are who are pressuring to buy control of the company. In other words, inspired by some other world wisdom, you can tell us what the devil's going on. Yes, sir. Humility as a virtue is not yours, Mr. Vincent. Well, Mr. Mace, we uh, happen to have our own expertise. Just who are we, Mr. Vincent? There are seven of us right now. Are you in this group? Yes, sir. Are there any crack brains in with you? No, sir. You know Edgar Scoville. Bob, come on. You can't possibly tell me you believe this stuff. Alien beings here on Earth? Come on. I believe it. I know it. Wouldn't things look a little better after some black coffee, Robert? Now, either there are aliens here, or a man whose mind you've respected until now has gone off his rocker and you're badly in need of a new associate editor. I see. That's your hook. That's my hook. And the fact that you're a curious man. Am I? Yes, you are. There was nothing like a modern news magazine before you came along. You invented it. You put it together because you have an insatiable thirst for facts. From the moment a reliable man like Mr. Ferrara handed you my summary and you read it, you were hooked. There's nothing you can do about it now. You want to know. You've got to know. Vincent, no one's talked to me like this. I'm sorry. But just how far do you think I'd get with you if I used the gentle approach? Do you realize what this means to us? Do you know what we'd do to get your backing? Did you call Edgar Scoville? He's on hold, Mr. Mace. Would you put him on, please? Edgar, your friend Vincent is rude, hostile, boorish, and arrogant. But I'm going ahead. Invaders.